today on Weekly Wire. Learn how you can register for winter and spring recreation. We share some holiday greetings. Plus, find out about a public service appreciation event in Woodbury. Hello, I'm Elena Myers. And I'm Justin Atkinson. Well, the public is invited to come to Central Park on December 19th to celebrate retiring Mayor Mary Giuliani Stevens and City Council members Julie Oz and Christopher Burns. The event will honor and celebrate their dedication to Woodbury. There will be an informal reception at 6 p.m. followed by a program at 7.30. Share some holiday cheer by creating some ornaments for the season. Newport Library and Community Center is hosting an ornament making event on December 17th from 3 to 6 p.m. The event is free and there will be a selection of ornaments and small decorations on hand. This past Monday, the SWCTC team joined the community in welcoming the holiday train to Cottage Grove. That's right, we invited families to record holiday greetings on Facebook Live to loved ones around the globe. Let's take a look at a few. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Thank you guys. We just want to thank everyone that stopped by our tent to record a greeting and say hello to us. We'll be sharing some more greetings on next week's Wire. In the mood for a sweet treat, Woodbury has you covered with a new shop in town. Duck Donuts held its grand opening on December 8th. They offer warm, fresh, and made-to-order donuts. You can check them out at 7455 Corral Boulevard in Woodbury. St. Paul Park Public Works and Fire Department are asking residents to keep fire hydrants clear of snow. Homeowners with fire hydrants adjacent to their homes can help by clearing the snow in a three-foot area around the fire hydrant. St. Paul Park is also asking residents and business owners to help keep public sidewalks free of snow and other objects such as recycling bins to ensure the safe travel of everyone. Well, Wayne Johnson was sworn in as the District 4 Washington County Commissioner during the November 27th County Board meeting. Let's go to producer Bob McSherry, who recently sat down with the new commissioner. Wayne Johnson spent the past two years on the Cottage Grove City Council. He is now our county commissioner. So, Wayne, how are you doing today? Doing great. Thank you for having me. So, why did you want to be our Washington County Commissioner for District 4? Well, just like when I ran for the city council, which was an open seat, uh, being a resident, 20 year resident of uh, Cottage Grove, I wanted to start participating in the community. And so I saw when I saw the opportunity for the county commissioner and be able to continue to serve the community and also work with the county and the city together with all the many projects we have going on, I, want, I felt I was the right person and I wanted to continue serving. So how's the transition going from uh, being a city council member to a county commissioner right now? Bigger. You know, uh, a lot of the, the nice thing with being on the city council is a lot of the structure was there, a lot of the processes were there, but then when you go to the county, you have a lot more departments, a bigger budget, but it's been a very smooth, everybody at the county has been so nice to get me up and going. Um, as you probably know is I ended up taking and sitting down at the dais about a month earlier than normal people do uh, during a normal election. So I've been trying to get as much, uh, learn as much as I could, as fast as I could, so that I can be uh, ready to uh, do the best I can for the constituents. Um, there's things going on that, like the budget and stuff that is being voted on, this right now that I'm involved in, that a lot of candidates don't get involved in until an, a year into it. And what are some of the biggest challenges facing District 4 in uh, 2019? Uh, one of the bi biggest challenges is what's affecting a lot of the Washington County, especially in the southeast area, is the water. 
uh, with the 3M settlement. Uh, we have Cottage Grove that was affected. We had my first year on the council, actually we had to have a water ban. So we had to go up there and make that decision because we were notified about the water with the PFCs. Uh, we also have St. Paul Park and we also have Newport that's being affected along with other communities. So we wanna make sure that money is spent in our area where it was intended to be uh, spent during the lawsuit. Uh, so that's one of them. Uh, other challenges is going to be the continuing growth and how we handle infrastructure and how we end up working with transportation, whether we have the, uh, the Red Rock. Uh, one of the things that is continually being looked at is the Red Rock uh, bus travel, uh, along with the gold line that's going on in, up in Woodbury. So it's a common theme that with everybody moving in here, and the constant growth we have is we have to get these people move from place to place, whether it's job to shopping to home. And that's another challenge that we will continuously have. And then the last one is jobs, uh, making sure people uh, are able to get out here for the different businesses that are opening up and whether they're coming from a different uh, city, how do they get out here and how do we help the people that live here and work here and have businesses here get the talent that they need to succeed. In your first year as county commissioner, what are you looking forward to? Some of the things that I'm looking forward to is just to see the, be part of the continual growth of the community and the county and the district. We have uh, the Ravine Parkway, which was redone last year. Uh, people felt it wasn't quite right, it wasn't quite done. So now this next year and going into 2020, we're gonna work on replacing the pavilion, putting in what they call a Nordic Center, sort of like what's up by Lake Elmo, and continually grow that park for more people to use. Uh, that's one of the things I'm looking forward to. Uh, current, we talk about transportation coming up. We're gonna be doing a new roundabout. And I'm still learning the transition of talking county roads, yep. but I still know them as what everybody else knows them as, as on Hinton and uh, Highway and 70. 70th there, we're gonna be doing a new roundabout by Junction 70 restaurant there. So that's one of the things. So I'm just looking forward to being part of the continued growth and success in this area. Well, Wayne, thanks for joining us and good luck on the County Commission this year. Well, thank you for the opportunity to sit down with you today. Great, back to you. Johnson replaced Commissioner Jack LaVold, who served for a short time due to a vacancy. Commissioner Johnson's term ends in 2022. Well, on December 19th from 10.30 to 11.30 a.m., the Cottage Grove Chamber of Commerce is hosting an event for members as well as those thinking of becoming a member. The event will be a time to learn more about the opportunities and benefits available and to connect with current members. It will be held at the Chamber office. Registration is open for winter and spring recreation programs in Woodbury. There are many options to choose from, from science and nature programs to sports or music and art. To browse the brochure or register for a program, you can visit the city's website. It was a lot of fun capturing the holiday greetings at this year's holiday train. Yes, it was. Besides the greetings, we also are there to capture the many festivities. If you don't know what you want, you just tell Santa you want a surprise. That way when you get up in the morning and you walk, look at the Christmas tree and you go, Oh my gosh, I got a big surprise! It's a beautiful city, great place to live. And if Santa didn't have his home in the North Pole, this is where I'd be. We have cheese curds. Oh, no, I'm, Santa's good. I'm, I filled up on cookies. I'm looking forward to all of the rest of the kids to show up, the train, and enjoy the festivities. Baby traveling set. Oh, that sounds like it'd be fun to play with. So we are having the community sign holiday cards for local veterans and service members. We also have partnered with the Holiday Train sponsors and 12 of the people who created the, the wreaths have donated those to local veterans and service members and we will be distributing those to, to them. If we didn't have the food shelf in town, if these kind of events didn't happen to support them, I don't know where we would go when a veteran came to us in need of food. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We're working as a team to collect food for the food shelf. We do this every year. The food shelf is good to support because it supports the community itself and the people that need help the most, during, especially during the holidays. I'm hoping they break all records. So, give. To the Friends in Need food shelf in the amount of $10,000! That just pushed us very close to 100,000 
for what we've raised for this holiday train. Thank you. I just love this community and I enjoy being part of this event today. Merry Christmas. <laughs> This marked the 16th year the holiday train was stopped in Cottage Grove. All the proceeds go towards the Friends in Need food shelf in St. Paul Park. Woodbury wants residents to be cautious of thin ice on both Battle Creek and Colby Lakes. Residents should note the locations of the aeration systems and stay clear of the area posted for thin ice. The perimeter of each aeration system will be posted with orange and white reflective signs that warn danger thin ice. With snow being a staple of Minnesota winters, Cottage Grove wants to remind residents about their winter parking ban. This ban states that parking on city streets is not permitted from 2 to 6 a.m. In addition, there is no parking during a snow event until plows have cleared the streets. Public works will begin snow removal when there is two or more inches of snow. For any questions regarding the winter parking ban or snow removal, you can contact the Public Works Department. Well, now here's a quick look at some upcoming events happening around South Washington County you might want to check out. As you mentioned earlier, it was the holiday train this past Monday and an estimated 6,000 people were able to come out. It was my first holiday train actually. How was that experience for you? It was great. It was really nice to see everyone out there and celebrating and having a good time listening to the music and enjoying the train. It was a lot of fun and also what was fun about it is that we actually got a 360 camera on the holiday train stage. So if you go to our Facebook page, you can see what it was like to actually be on stage with the band as they're performing. You can see 360 degrees around you. So we encourage you to check that out. It was a lot of fun. Absolutely. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.